it's been a really long time coming but i'm back and i can't believe i'm doing this but i haven't actually told anyone that i started vlogging again because i've been getting so many messages being like is carla actually gonna start vlogging again because she they start they start missing my videos i'm like i don't know <laughs> like a lot has happened since the beginning of this year and i'm like wasn't in the mindset of vlogging again and now we're in July. I was going to say June, but forgetting that we are in July now. Things are looking good. <laughs> so I'm back. I've got a happy car again, and I've got a bit of tan, as you can see. <laughs> and yeah, it's just been a bit of a journey this year so far, but this year's looking pretty good, and I'm happy. And yeah, welcome back. It's me. <laughs> And this is going to be a very big surprise <laughs> for everyone. But yeah, I really wanted to film this trip because it's in London. <laughs> I always wanted to like film places wherever I go because I think they're just cool and just amazing to look back on. So that's why I like filming holiday videos because I even love the Sicily video. The Sicily vlog that I did. I love that one and I still watch it. <laughs> it's just so cool. But um, yeah, I'll be filming my next holiday in September. And hopefully I'll be back this time because I do really miss vlogging. I've just popped into town and it's so busy. Like all the kids are out of school already and it's only like two o'clock. Like, why are they out so early for? But um, yeah, I've just bought myself a Sicilian lemon drink for Mark Spencer's because I thought, I don't really know what I fancy, but I fancy some different energy. Yeah, I'm gonna have this oh, boy. yeah this is the drink that i got from Marks and Spencer's haven't tried it before so I'm quite interested to see what it tastes like and then a classic chicken bacon ah. but let me tell you how gorgeous this weather is stunning absolutely stunning i don't know why i've decided to pick up my camera like this but um i've got a very exciting day tomorrow and i'm currently just about to paint my toenails because I'm gonna wear a nice dress tomorrow and I'm gonna be wearing sandals because I don't really wear want to wear trainers. I feel like I always wear trainers but I just want to glam myself up you know when you just want to dress up and look really hot and sexy that's what I want to look like tomorrow <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go all out to paint my toenails and um, just enjoy myself tomorrow with my sister which I'm really, really excited and looking forward to. So I'm going to be working tomorrow morning. And then once I've finished, I will then come home, get changed. Well, have a shower, get changed. Um, finish off a little bit packing. I've already started already. And then sort out what I'm going to wear for Sunday night. Well, not Sunday night, but Sunday when I'm still going to be about in London. And then... Wait, I didn't even tell you where I was going. I'm going to London. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go to London tomorrow once I finish work. Oh my god, I can't even do this. What are you doing? But yeah, I'm going to go to London tomorrow with my sister, which is so excited. And this is like the hottest day of the year, probably. I think this is the only summer we're probably ever going to have. So I think that's gone for a year now. So that's lovely jubbly like pink toes because i'm going to be wearing like a um, orange dress tomorrow which will be really really lovely i absolutely wore it last year i think you might have seen it actually my um friend's 40th birthday that i wore it to I haven't worn it since no i've only worn it once anyway as i said i'm gonna be going to london tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow which i'm super excited and looking forward to And there's the Tower Bridge. <laughs> and there's a little bit too. Just look at that view. Look, the um, sun's about to come out as well. A bit of clear sky coming through. Hopefully it'll be a nice sunset tonight and take lots, nice lots of pictures. I'm just currently waiting for my sister, but yeah, I think she'll be going to be about 10-15 minutes wait, so I'll wait for her. But yeah, the sun's 
coming out it was like really thick cloud earlier and I thought we might be able to take some nice sunset pictures but hopefully I mean I know it's only like half five but I might be able to so we will see I really want to go on this as well one day it'll be quite cool especially with a nice clear sky as well but it's looking absolutely gorgeous a little bit of exploring while I'm waiting for my sister and look how cute these little boats are they're so cool I want to go on one especially this one this one's cool the rustic I'm grateful that it's a bit of a gorgeous day though because the sun's gonna come out and gonna wear a dress get all glammed up and yeah it's gonna be a really fun night and I'm so excited I want to go on I want to go on one of them that would be pretty cool then you won't get wet I feel like the other one you just get absolutely wet look at here it looks like we're in Singapore with this view. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's actually quite cool. And then you've got these. And it's so cute. Yeah, I can see some lights over there. It looks really pretty. It looks so cute. I actually love it. It's actually so cute. It's actually weird as well. I don't think you will get any other hotel that's got like a True, because this is really nice. Oh, this is super cute. I want to go in there. So cute. Gorgeous, gorgeous pub. We've got these little pods here and then we've got this view which is absolutely gorgeous and then you've got the shard yeah it was and then you can see a little bit of the London eye just over there yeah cute gorgeous oh, my hair's all over the place yeah, because it really looks like thunder in distance, but it's not. It's a little airplane. It's cool. Look. <laughs> you can see it. Crazy. It's such a gorgeous view. I'll take your photos as well. Yeah, the flashes just look like thunder, don't they? But they're not. It's just the airplanes in the sky. It's so pretty. And there's a little pub down there. Yeah. I think my camera needs cleaning. Ready for day two. Back here all over again. <laughs> See you here again. And I'm back here again. Absolutely gorgeous. taking some pictures and then we'll be going off to the grind which I'm excited and I'll take you with me and have a nice breakfast so I'm excited because I'm really really hungry it's quite cute yeah I actually quite like it yeah it does yeah I quite like the lunch as well I don't know why I'm a fan of the lunch look at that huge that's crazy all people on it what a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Sun's come out for us again. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I've never seen this before. I oh, know, isn't it? Oh wow. 
style. Nice. Yeah, I took them quickly. Yeah, got yours. <laughs> I'm home and can I just say I've had the best time in London. It's actually so much better than I imagined. So me and my sister stayed in the Tower Hotel and it's a four star. It's like a cheap-ish reasonable amount of price to pay for a hotel. It's not like a really fancy hotel. We basically had a room where it was overlooking the River Thames and then you've got Canary Wolf and with like all the boats on the river. And then in the far, far distance, you can see one of the pubs. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called the Dickens Inn, but it was so pretty. I inserted it um, in the video and it was all flowers everywhere at the front. And I think it's quite fancy because everyone was dressed up really, really nicely. And it was Google online. It was quite expensive. And I think you had to pre-book it. But unfortunately, me and my sister didn't pre-book it. So I think next time when I do go to London, or I go with a friend or something, or my future boyfriend or whatever, <laughs> then we'll definitely go there because it does absolutely look gorgeous and I definitely want to go in there. So yeah, so basically we stayed in the Tower Hotel and was overlooking that view. But I felt like the view that we had was so much better because, I don't know, because during the night and during the day, you're going to be seeing the Tower Bridge anyway. But seeing Canary Wolf, that view was insane, especially at night. It was gorgeous. Like, even laying on the bed, you can just see Canary Wolf in the far distance. And it was just so pretty. And I said to my sister, it did actually look a little bit like Singapore, considering we have been to Singapore. It just reminded us of like that, like the view. Obviously, it isn't, but it just felt like it a little bit. But yeah, it was it was really good and then we went out for dinner. Well, we didn't really go out for dinner, we stayed in dinner at the hotel, which was not great. Do not recommend that. So only book the hotel for the room because it's good for the views and the location, but not for the food and drinks. <laughs> so yeah, definitely spend your money elsewhere on a decent drink and a decent meal rather than at the hotel. <laughs> Although the hotel view was quite good at the restaurant, just would not recommend the drinks and the food it just was not worth it it was quite cheap as well so i think it was just like on the tacky cheapy side <laughs> but yeah um that was what i do oh yeah we walked around at night and saw everything all lit up it was so freshy and then i took a load of photos so they'll be posted on instagram and facebook <laughs> which my sister just spams but i find them quite cute I like I like it when somebody just takes loads of photos because then you get like the natural look of me smiling rather than a forced picture, if you know what I mean. And yeah, it was just so nice to walk around with it all lit up. It just felt like we was on holiday, but it's crazy to think that we were just in London. But yeah, it was really, really cute. And then what else did we do? Oh yeah, and then we didn't really fancy. It was quite late because I work quite early morning, so I was quite tired. And about half ten-ish or something like that, 11 o'clock we then went and got a bottle of wine and then some chocolates and then drank the wine back in the hotel room which you would have seen me videoing of it all lit up at night and it was just so pretty and I was laying on my bed just looking at the view it was absolutely stunning and then I went to bed and then I set my alarm off at quarter to five so considering where the view was out of my window you could be able to see the sunrise but unfortunately it was very heavily clouded so we couldn't see the view so then I then went back straight to bed <laughs> I got up because I'm getting used to the getting up early mornings for work because I get up around five o'clock my body's like wakes me up anyway but I set my alarm on, on just in case and then see if there was a sunrise but it wasn't so yeah then I went straight back to bed <laughs> we got up around about nine o'clock got dressed and then yeah started walking around and then we went to breakfast and we went to the grind kind of recommend that that was really nice i had like this coconut breakfast thing i did not like it <laughs> i think that was my fault i chose the wrong one i didn't realize it was gonna be that coconutty i do like coconut but not that much and yeah I kind of regretted my sister I can't remember what my sister had but it was like a really frozen fruit but had loads of fruit in the bowl I know the word of it but I can't quite remember but I should have gone for what my sister had because it looked really really nice and I've seen loads of people like have it when they go abroad like to Bali or something with that fruit bowl there's this word but 
yeah can't remember what it's called which looked really really lovely i think you'll probably see a little bit of the clip it's not really like a close-up picture of hers but i'm pretty sure you would understand what i mean and yeah it was just so fun and then we went to bread ahead Borough market is that what it is bread ahead yeah bread ahead Borough market we went there and picked up some creme brulee um donuts got five lots one each and i'm about to have mine and it's eight o'clock well half eight now and i'm gonna have mine after i've finished vlogging and end this video as soon as i've had this creme brulee donut i'm gonna go straight to sleep because i am shattered i'm so tired and just catch up on some sleep because i've got a 5 a.m wake up call tomorrow morning so that's nice i'm actually loving the early mornings my new routine at work is just love it absolutely loving it right now it's just a fish of fresh air in my life <laughs> and i feel so happy and healthy and so all good things that's coming to 2024 which a lot of things have happened and it's it's been a journey but i'm happy and i'm completely loving life right now so on that note i'm actually going to end this video here if you do want to go to london definitely go to that hotel it's a stunning area i don't know if i mentioned but in the hotel that we're staying in there was like loads of cafes and pubs and restaurants like everywhere nearby with it lit up nicely as well so it was super cute and right on our doorstop as well and there was like nice music playing during the day they they turned it off at night but during the day they play some really nice music and it was just cute so yeah definitely definitely do recommend that place so if you do fancy a nice getaway for a couple of nights nice cheap but a good location that's the one this isn't the best views <laughs> as it was last night but it's a lovely clear sky tonight now the clip is absolutely gorgeous so i'm actually going to end this video here i do hope you enjoyed it's been a long time coming it's been about eight months since the last vlog this december one was my last one and now we've welcomed back to a 24 hours slash night away with my sister in london so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video Bye!